Welcome, my cherubs. We are on to chapter three, lines and angles. This first section is lines and angles, and we are going to be identifying relationships between figures in space and also identifying angles formed by two lines in a transversal. So the first thing that we have is parallel lines, and parallel lines are coplanar lines that never intersect. So we have this and this. So we can say that line EA, segment EA, actually it's a line, is parallel to segment BF, or line BF. Now we also have, uh, if you notice, there's a little, it's tough to see here, but there's little lines in here. The, when you have arrows like that, that's a symbol for it. Um, and we can also say that line AD is parallel to line BC. Let me change my highlighter color here. And that would be these two lines here are parallel. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's very difficult to see, but there are two arrows here. So if you have more than one pair of parallel lines, you have a sec a neck another pair of arrows marking there. Skew lines. This is an interesting one. This is new. Skew lines are non-coplanar lines that never intersect and are not parallel. They are they never intersect and they are not parallel. So an example of skew lines would be line EA and line BC. So EA is skew with BC. And we have other ones. I'm going to change my highlighter color again. We could say that line BF and HG are skew. Line BF skew with line HG. Now it looks like they are crossing, but HG is in fact behind that line. That's why that is dotted, so to show you uh, spatially that it's behind there. We also have parallel planes, and parallel planes are planes that will never intersect. So we can say plane ABC is parallel to plane EFG. So that top flat surface is, pla is parallel to the bottom surface. Now we could also say that plane DAE is parallel to plane BCG. So that would be these two planes here are parallel. We have other parallel planes in that diagram as well. This is where things start to get fun. When a line intersects two or more lines, the angles that are formed at the intersection points form special angle pairs. So this is line one, this is line two. This line here, that is called the transversal. And that is a line that intersects two other lines. So we have alternate interior angles. So before I forget into this, I want to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to be using those numbers to reference all these angles here. So alternate interior angles are non-adjacent interior angles. Before I, let me also do this. This is the interior. This is the interior. And we have all these, that area outside, up above here, this would be the exterior. because they are, it is outside of those two lines. So interior is referring to inside of the two lines, exterior is referring to outside of the two lines. So alternate interior angles. 
are non-adjacent interior angles that lie on opposite sides of the transversal. So we have 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alternate interior angles would be angle 3 and angle 5, and angle 4 and angle 6. So if you notice, they are on opposite sides of the transversal. They're on opposite sides of transversal T, and they are inside of the two lines. Same side interior angles are angles, interior angles that lie on the same side of the transversal. So 3, 4, 5, 6, we would say angles 4 and 5, and angle 3, and angle 6. <clears throat> Alternate exterior angles are non-adjacent exterior angles that lie on opposite sides of the transversal. One, two, three, four. So angles one and angle seven are alternate exterior. Angle two and angle eight are alternate exterior. These are incredibly visual. You have to be able to look at these diagrams to identify what these angles are. So you have to have the pictures drawn to make sure you understand what's going on. Corresponding angles are angles that lie on the same side of the transversal and are, and are in matching or corresponding positions. So here we have things that will match up all over the place. I'm going to write all the numbers here. Oops, did that backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could say that one, angle one, and angle five correspond. Angle four and angle 8, angle 2, and angle three, and angle 6, and angle 3, and angle 7. They are all corresponding angles. So I like to think of it as um, the classrooms. So if you think about the school, the rooms correspond. So we have 201, which is directly on top of room 101, and 301 corresponds with all of those as well. A little extra piece of information that may be good to know is that lines and planes that do not intersect are parallel. They can be parallel. So a line can be parallel to a plane, a plane can be parallel to a line. Now, we're going to identify non-intersecting lines and planes here. So we have this diagram. In the figure, assume that the lines and planes that appear to be parallel are parallel. So which segments are parallel to? Hmm. Which segments are parallel to AB? What is parallel to segment AB? So parallel to AB, same plane, we could say AB is parallel to CD. It's right here. We could also say AB is parallel to EF. Now here is the interesting one. We could also say that segment AB is parallel to HG. Now let me show you why. If we were to take a knife, we could slice this across like that. And we create a wedge. And those two segments here would be parallel to each other. They would be on a plane. We created the plane by making the slice, but we have parallel lines because they are on the same plane and they do not intersect. Now which lines are skew to? I'll throw in DH. Skew to DH, we could say FG is skew in the back here. So what's not going to intersect this and is not on the same plane? So we have that. We could also say EF because we're currently looking at DH right here. So what else is skew? We could say segment AB.
So we have FG. So DH is going to be skewed to AB. FG. EF. I'm going to draw this one in here. Um, we have AB. And it would also be skew to BC. Across the back here. So those are all lines that are skewed to segment DH. What are two pairs of parallel planes? So we could have the top plane and the bottom plane. So we could say plane ABC is parallel to plane, I should have written this out, is parallel to plane ABC is the top plane, would be parallel to plane EFG. We could also have the side planes. So plane. So the front plane would be ADE. And that would be parallel to the rear plane, which would be plane BCG. Now, what are two segments that are parallel to plane BCGF? So, BCGF is this back plane. So, what are segments that are parallel to that? That would be segment AD in the front and also EH. Now, why are segments FE and CD not skew? Why are they not skew? So, FE is here and CD is here. They are parallel because they are on the same plane. And if you recall from earlier, we could slice this here and they would be kind of like on a wedge and they would be on the same plane. Now, identifying the special angle pairs. So which line is the transversal? That's the first question, and that is the line that crosses through the two lines. So a transversal would be line R. Three pairs of corresponding angles. So remember, corresponding angles have to be in matching spots. So we could say angle one and angle three angle 7 and angle 5 and angle 2 and angle 4. Now there are more corresponding angles than those but 1 and 3 correspond, 7 and 5 correspond, and 2 and 4 correspond. Two pairs of same side exterior angles. Now this was not one that we had in there but we can use those terms to identify what angles we're going to be working with. Same side so we're on one side of the transversal and we could say those would be angles 8 and angle 5 and the second pair would be angles 1 and angle 4. Two pairs of alternate interior angles so now we're looking between M and N so on opposite sides of the transversal so that would be angle 2 and angle 6 and angle 3 and angle 7 two pairs of alternate exterior angles, so alternate on opposite sides of the transversal, and outside of M and N, that would be angle 1 and angle 5, and angle 8 and angle 4. Now we got some old ones, three pairs of vertical angles. We could say angle 1 and angle 7, angle 2 and angle 8, angle 3 and angle 5 and I'm gonna go for the fourth just because I'm an overachiever angle 4 and angle 6. Four pairs of linear pairs <clears throat> so we could say angle 1 and angle 2 remember a linear pair makes a line we could also say angle 1 and angle 8 we could say angle 3 and angle 4 and we could also say angle 4 and angle 5. So those are all linear pairs. 
Now, how can we classify these special pairs of angles? So, angles 1 and 2. Actually, let me do, do that. Angles 2 and angle 3, they would be considered same side interiors. Angle 2 and angle 4, those are alternate interior angles. Angle 1 and angle 3 are corresponding. And we could say angles, uh, what could we do? Yeah, angle 1 and angle 2 are a linear pair. So please take your time with these. Make sure you, you can try twisting your picture around to help you with determining the inside or the interior or exterior or what the transversal is, but you have to have the diagrams. It's incredibly visual, and understanding this stuff is imperative to do well in the rest of the, this course. So please take your time with these, because we are going to be building upon these special angle pairs with special things that happen in the future. So please practice, take your time, let me know if you have any questions.